Kristen, that's not coming off. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Take and Make video. This week's project is DIY string art. So let's take a look at what you're gonna have in your kit. In your kit, you'll have a piece of cork board with an adhesive back. Make sure you keep that on there. You'll have a baggie with push pins and you'll have two bundles of string. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose a design that can easily fit onto your square. You can do a simple shape or a letter. Um, you can cut out some paper or cardstock to use as a template if you want to, or you can even sketch a simple outline on here uh, so you know where to put your pins. So for our design today, we're just gonna do a letter and we're gonna do a simple T for take and make. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your pins and just start outlining your shape on your square. So once you've got your pins in your outline, the next step is to add your string. So you'll take one of your bundles and you're going to tie it around one of the pins to start and you want to knot it really well around this first pin. Once you've got your string attached to one pin and tied around it tightly, you're just gonna start looping it around random pins across the board. You don't have to follow a certain pattern or um, direction. You're just gonna start filling in your shape by looping the string around the different pins and pulling it across your shape. And then once you're finished with your first color, you're just going to cut that string and tie it onto another pin to secure it. And now you're going to do the same thing for your second color. Start it out by tying it, attaching it to one of the pins to get started, and then just filling in as much or as little as you want with that second color. Now I'm gonna to choose to stop there so I can still see the red and the green together, but you can fill your shape or your letter in as much as you want with as much string. You can do um, one color outline and then one color filled in or any kind of pattern that you wanna try. And when you're finished with your string art, remember there is that adhesive part on the back. If you want to, you can peel that off and display your artwork somewhere.